Today we are going to make a gut hook hunting knife. I don't know that they're always the most practical and I prefer just a regular hunting knife but we are going to try to make this knife. So we drew it out. We're probably going to use some brass bolsters and some more antler. Antler handles. Antler is not my favorite but that's what we're going to do for this knife. Um, I've had a few questions in a couple other videos, so that's what we're going to build today. We're going to use 1095 steel. So we'll cut it out of that, make our knife. All right, so we got the bevel in. You see the line there? We got it up pretty close. Our edge here is about the thickness of a dime. Um, should be pretty good there. Same thing on this side up to our line. Uh, I used to use a jig. However, I have enjoyed doing the freehand. You have a little more control. It is a little bit harder with the four inch belt. Um, hopefully one day I'll have a two inch that might make it easier. You can just easier spot the differences and adjust where it's needed. But now we're going to drill our hole for the gut hook part and also for our handle. So we're going to drill those. Forge is lit, blade is ready to be heat treated. We have our holes drilled, we have our gut hook filed down, and the bevel is ready to go. So now we're going to normalize it, do a couple rounds of that, and then we'll heat treat.
blade's been heat treated. We sent it off the scales and then we tempered it. So about 400 for two, two and a half hours. And now the handle. I've been asked quite a bit in other videos how I attach the handles. Uh, antler can be tricky sometimes, so I use um, this tape and I'll tape it on, glue it there, and then I'm able to drill the holes. Because the holes are already in the steel and are square, it helps the drill bit stay where it needs to be, and it helps your Hold all line up and be square so it's easier to put your pin in. But works pretty good. It's antler so it still is tricky because it's not square. But it works. Now that the holes are all drilled in, we're gonna glue it to some G10, put our brass bolsters on, get it all lined up. So we mix up our epoxy, and I uh, like to add a little bit of black paint, just a drop. Uh, I think it just looks nicer, matches the bolster, or the liners a little bit, and fills in those little gaps if there are any. Now it's time to finish the blade and sand it up before the handle dries. We finished up the handle, well, we just shaped them up, sanded them down while we were sanding everything else. So, it all looks really nice, ready for glue up I believe, and to put our pins in. I'm just gonna glue them up, I'll show you what's done after. Just put your epoxy on, put your pins in, clamp it together, and that's how you do a glue up. Not a lot to it. If you want, you can look and watch a couple other videos where I go into a little more detail. Oh, I got some on the blade and I didn't wipe it off. Yeah, great. Now we're gonna put our edge on and then we'll put it on the strop and get nice and sharp. Getting the gut hook sharp has been difficult. I mean, it cuts, it's just not Razor sharp like we can do the blade. If you have any tips on how to sharpen it other than the chainsaw file that I have, let me know. Because I'd like to get it a little bit sharper. <laughs> 